What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here, and today I'm going to show you the best finds I've found while coin roll hunting on the Evergreen State. Alright guys, as you know, I work on a ship, and with all the travel that I do, I've managed to go to a bunch of different banks and different ports, and I managed to pull some good finds in the meantime. In this video, I'm going to share exactly what I found and highlight the best finds that I came across. But first, I want to say thank you to all you guys who've been watching, liking, and even subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the support that I have gotten thus far, and it's all been worth it as we continue to grow this channel. Just in June alone, I had only 22 subscribers, and look at us now. I go back home to New York pretty soon, and when I'm at home, I plan on doing a lot more coin roll hunts, as well as increasing the quantity since I will be able to go to the banks that I usually go to and order coins. Anyways, I have a lot of coins to show you in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so over the course of many ports and hundreds of dollars of coins going through, this is what we managed to pull. As you guys could see, it's a pretty big spread of coins. We got a whole bunch of different stuff. Old San Francisco mints, 2009s, foreigns, and the best finds I'll save for last. But anyway, let's begin with the pennies. Now the pennies, I did find one 1930. It's a 1937. Moving on to the 40s in the wheat pennies, I found a 1940 Philadelphia. 1941 Philadelphia, three 1944 Philadelphias, 1945 Philadelphia, a 1945 San Francisco, 1947 Philadelphia, 1947 San Francisco, 1948 Philadelphia, and two 1949 Philadelphias. Moving on to the 1950s, we found two 1950s. A 1951 Philadelphia, 1953 Philadelphia, 1953 Denver, 1955 Philly, 1956 two Denvers, a 1957, and two 1958 Denvers. We found some 1959s, four of each, Philadelphia and Denver. All right, guys, we found a lot of old nickels on this hedge. And we'll begin with the oldest, the 1940s. So we found three 1940 Philadelphias, a 1940 Denver, and a 1940 San Francisco. Moving on to the 1946s, we found three of them, all from the Philadelphia Mint. The next year is 1947, we found two of them from the Denver Mint, two 1948s from the Philadelphia Mint, one from the Denver Mint. A 1949 Philly and a 1949 Denver. And on to the 50s. We found a 1951 Philly, 51 Denver, two 1952 Phillies, a 1954 Philly and a 1954 Denver. That's the one that was in really bad shape. Still is. We found a 1955 Denver, three 1956 Denvers, a 1957 Denver, one 1958 Denver, and a few 1959s, all from the Denver Mint. Moving on, we found a few shiny coins, a uh, very good condition 1963 Philadelphia Penny, a 1964 Denver Nickel, and a nice 1976 Bicentennial Quarter. Onto the S mint marks, guys. We found four San Francisco minted 1960s through 1970s Lincoln Memorial cent pennies. We found two 1969s, a 1970, and a 1973. We also found four nickels, a 68, 69, and two 70s, all from the San Francisco mint. Across the hunt, we did find some 2009s. We found five pennies all from the Philadelphia Mint, managed to get one nickel, low mintage, as well as five dimes, which are also of the lower mintage. 
We found four Philadelphias and one Denver. Moving on to the quarters, we found nine. We found a Virgin Islands Philadelphia, two American Samoa Philadelphias, a Puerto Rico Philly and a Puerto Rico Denver, a District of Columbia Philly and a Denver, and a very nice condition, Guam Philadelphia, and an even better condition, Denver. Not only that guys, but we did find a few foreigns, four Canadian pennies, five pence, a Canadian nickel, a nickel from the Bahamas, a nickel from Costa Rica, a nickel from the Ukraine, two Canadian quarters, and a Bahamian quarter from 2016. That pretty much sums up the more common of the better finds. But on to the best finds. We'll start with the Jacksonville Star Note, even though it's not in the best condition. It is pretty cool that it is a half step reverse ladder. You got that seven, six, five, four, right next to the star. 2013 series, one dollar bill. Moving on, we found our oldest penny. It's from the year 1928, almost 100 years old, guys. Moving on, we found two silver dimes, which is incredible, and it was all in the same hunt. Tampa was pretty good to us. We got a 1958 Denver Rosie and a 1935 Silver Mark. Moving on, we found another silver coin, a 1943 San Francisco minted war nickel. A semi-key date, 1953, San Francisco again. And our third San Francisco, a 2002 proof. Moving on to the quarters, we found three West Point Mint Mark quarters. Two from 2019, and you can see this last one has the privy mark, being that it is a 2020. This one is the National Park, a Lowell, and an American Memorial Park. Not only that, guys, for the quarters, we did find a Delaware Spitting Horse. That's our first one ever. A very nice area to find. And we'll keep on going, guys, with the last silver, 1969 Denver. 40% silver half dollar. In the end, I think we did pretty well for the first time coin roll hunting while on the ship. I know now that I could balance coin roll hunting with my current work schedule, so expect a lot more of these types of videos of me coin roll hunting in different cities such as Tampa, Jacksonville, Charleston, Perth Amboy, Norfolk, Key West, and parts of Texas. That's where my ship regularly runs, so... I expect to do a lot more coin roll hunts like this in the future and hopefully get even more finds the next time. We went through a lot of coins over the last 90 days, but now it's time to go home and continue the hunt in New York. Until the next video guys, I will see you next time and as always, happy hunting.